Welcome to Embrilliance Essentials. I'm Lindy Goodall from Lindy G Embroidery, and in this lesson, I'd like to make a quick little design to demonstrate some of the program's features and give you an idea of how it works. If you're new to Embrilliance, note that there are Windows and Mac versions of this program. They both look and work very similarly. Here, I'm using the Windows version. We'll start by creating a new document. We'll add some lettering. I'll just type in an S, and we'll pick a font pick bold cursive. Let's resize it to 18, rotate it to minus 23, and I'll just move it down here. Let's copy and paste a few, just drag them out, paste. I don't have to worry that they're not straight because I'm going to fix that up right this way. I'm going to align bottoms and then I'll use the tool again, and this time I'll distribute centers. And now they're all evenly spaced and aligned. Let's do Control G to group them. Now here we have a nice little border, could be a frame, kind of looks like water. Let's turn it into water. We'll start by changing the color. Since I use the Hemingworth Library, I'm going to pick a blue. Let's use Hyacinth. Since it's water, let's add a boat. Let's go back to the lettering. I'll add an uppercase U. Change the font again. Oh, how about this one? And make it wide. We'll reshape it to make it a little more boat-like. There might be a better letter we could use, but this will work for now. Let's make that brown. Notice that it remembered my library name. Let's pick cinnamon. There's our boat. So let's add a sail. I used to sail. So we can add a sail. Let's type in the number 4. And we'll use the same font. Now I can resize by dragging. I can make it symmetrical. I can drag out the dimension that I want. So that looks pretty good. Let's mirror that. Change the color of that. I use Christmas red a lot, so I happen to know the color on that one. And we'll just select that and apply it. Then we have a nice little boat. Now, let's add some lettering. We could add Yacht Club. Let's just do Sailing. Type in Sailing. Pick a font. I'm going to use comedy. And notice that although I typed in upper and lower case letters here, my lettering came out all uppercase. If we click on this question mark, we can see the letters or the characters that are in this alphabet, and we can see the recommended minimum and maximum sizes. What I like about this program is rather than just putting in a generic box or putting in no letter, leaving a space, the program converts the letters to uppercase, so at least we have letters. And we'll know just by looking. Let's select our entire design, Control A, Control G, and group it, and let's uh, center it. So there's our design so far. Well, it's probably now is a good time to save, so let's click the Save icon. And when we save in, in Brilliance Essentials, it's going to save two files. It's going to save a working file, which is a BE file, and it's going to save a stitch file for our sewing machine. This way we don't have to ever export. It always is updating both files. So let's call this Sale and Save. Now the reason we want the working file is so that if we ever need to make a change, we come back later and maybe we're sailing on a day when there's no wind. So let's ungroup, and I'm going to take the sail down. We'll change the 4 to an L. Click Set. Maybe narrow it a bit. And there's our boat with just a mast and no sail. So you can see how easy it is to modify. I don't have to recreate objects and delete old ones. I just go in, click the letter that I want to change, and change it. Very intuitive. So I think you can see that working in this program is easy, fun, 
quick and intuitive. It just makes sense. In future videos, we'll look at individual features a little more in depth. There's so many things you can do in this program. It is the essentials you need to be more productive and creative with your embroidery machine.